In most of, and I think in any valvular uh, art disease, that the major problem is to, to, to know when to intervene, when to operate on those patients, because the only treatment is, is most of the time uh, a surgical treatment for valvular art disease. And especially in organic mitral regurgitation, uh, the timing of, of intervention is highly debated. Some some authors think that we have to we have to intervene as soon as the the mitral regression is, is uh, severe, and some other think that we have to wait about symptoms and and LV dilation and things like that. So um, we would like to uh, find some new objective criteria to assess the, the suffering of the ventricle, but to have something that it will be reversible at the time of surgery. So BNP is the type B natriuretic peptide that, that is an hormone uh, that is secreted uh, that was impressed us uh, actually by the myocardium but not only by the myocardium but by the myocardium when there is a stretch on, on the ventricle on, on the muscle and uh, I, I would say that maybe the major function is a diuretic function that it will decrease the, the load decrease the, the, the quantity of blood so reduce the stress of the ventricle but the, 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 this is also a hormone that is a that is a, a uh, found in, in, in the brain as come his name and liver and excreted by the kidney so we have to be careful it is not uh, uh, specific from from the heart but in our case this is this 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 origin that we will look for Uh, the, uh, the main point of the study is that the BNP that we measured in the blood will be divided by the BNP that we expected, the, the maximal value we expected for the agents and sex of the patient. And with this adjustment for, for, the, for the given patient, we don't have this interaction with agent sex anymore. And we find that this ratio, the BNP ratio, is uh, predictive of mortality under medical treatment so in patients with uh, mitral regurgitation, organic mitral regurgitation, most of them are moderate to severe organic mitral regurgitation, this ratio of measured BNP to expected BNP is predictive of mortality under medical management. And what is really interesting is that it's not under, uh, if in patients that underwent uh, surgery. So it's like the, the, the impact of, of this ratio of BNP is blunted after surgery. The thing is, the surgery correct the pressure, uh, the the volume of the load. Okay, by by correcting the mitral regurg, we, we remove the we remove the problem actually. So uh, the the damage that are in the ventricle due to the volume of the load that we 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 uh, we assess if we want by this ratio of BNP is is not something that is stuck. It it could be reversed after the surgery. And, and thus, uh, we, we have an objective criteria, and we know that we have an alert because it, this, this ratio increases, but the damage in the ventricle is not uh, permanent. It could be reversed if we remove this uh, volume of our load. The take-home message would be in patients with, with a mitral, organic micro, mitral wages, regurg, we probably have to uh, measure the BNP in, in all patients and assess the, the elevation of this BNP to the expected, the value that they expected according to age, gender, and also according to, to, the, to the assay they use to measure the BNP because different assay give different different um, uh, numbers and, and by, by assessing how many times the, the, if the BNP is elevated compared to normal that you could say that the myocardium is, is suffering and in, in the case of a patient with a, a severe mitral regurgitation, organic mitral regurgitation with a suffering ventricle you probably had to go to surgery if, uh, even if you have no other trigger to, to send your patient to surgery. And, and, and do a pre that we call preemptive surgery that is now a class 2A indication in, in the guidelines.